Hello everyone, my name is Heather and welcome back to my channel. One of you lovely people, and I will leave that comment right here in a little picture on the screen for you to see, um, asked if I would do a get ready with me where I am doing my makeup for the show that I am in. And you know what? Why not? That sounds fun. Um, Cause in my last get ready with me that I just posted, I mentioned that it was basically my show makeup, but like a little bit toned down. So um, this wonderful person asked to see me get ready for my show so they can kind of see like the difference. And if that one person is the only one who watches this video, then so be it. But I'm getting ready for my show. So I figured I would film it. Why not? So just like in the last get ready with me and pretty much every time I ever do my makeup, I am putting the Urban Decay Primer Potion on. Um, this is not a tutorial. I don't do tutorials on my channel. There are so many amazing, talented, creative people who do tutorials on YouTube and I'm sure you have your favorite that you like to watch. So if you are here for a tutorial, uh, I don't know why you would be. There's not tutorial. <laughs> Tutorial is not in the title of this video, but uh, yeah, if you're looking for a tutorial, that's that's not going to happen. But I don't know. I'm going to kind of talk a little bit more about what's been going on in my life a little bit um, and here and there kind of talk about what I'm doing to my face. Just like last time, I'm using Strange from Naked 3 to set my primer because... Why not? I don't even think I really need to set my primer, but I'm kind of like, you know, unofficially trying to use up this palette as well as the regular Naked palette. It's the Strange is the only shadow with pan in it because I just put it all over the lid so it's really easy to use. I know it's only April, but I'm already kind of thinking ahead about what my next pan that palette is going to be. My first ever pan that palette was my Coastal Sense Revealed 3 palette and I did get a lot of use from that palette and I've been kind of thinking like should I go back to that palette and kind of uh I don't know do it as my 2019 pan that palette and maybe actually finish it or should I do a different palette like my Naked 3. I just feel like my Naked 3 palette might be I don't know, a little bit harder to pan because there, I don't know, it's definitely ha has a theme to it. Whereas like, I mean, yeah, Naked One, the original Naked palette has a theme, but the theme is like literally, this will go with everything pretty much. I mean, that's not entirely true, but like, I don't know, it's the Naked palette. It's the, it, it was their attempt to do like a universal palette. So I don't know, we'll see, obviously. I'm thinking way, way ahead. I don't really need to decide anything right now. Maybe I don't do a Pan That Palette, but you guys seem to really like my Pan That Palette videos. So I'm gonna do what you guys like as long as I enjoy doing it as well. So this video, the, what I'm doing right now, I'm currently filming on April 14th. Um, probably won't go up until Wednesday of this coming week. So I think that is like Wednesday the 18th or something like that. So I have one more show weekend. So next weekend is the last weekend of the show that I am doing. And it's kind of bittersweet um, as most show endings are. If you have also ever done community theater um, or theater of any kind, or I don't know, any sort of project that has a time limit you know, you bond with people, but I think it's going to be a little bit less bitter and more sweet this time because one of the things that makes it bitter is that you don't really see the people as much, but I think that in this case, I'm still going to hang out with these people because I feel like they're genuinely friends and not just friends for the show and like I hang out with them in real life and I, I mentioned all this in my last get ready with me so I don't I don't want to totally go into it again but I just think that's a big deal so I'm not going to be super heartbroken about this show ending I'm really excited for the next thing I am auditioning for um oh I do want to touch on the audition I was talking about in my last video so I filmed that on Monday, this just this past Monday, 
the 9th, I think, um, whatever that Monday was, and I was in a really weird mood that entire day, and I was like, okay, well, I want to feel productive, but, like, I don't know, should I go to this audition today, should I not go, and I ended up feeling like, okay, I, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go to this audition, even after I filmed that video where I was like, I need to go, I need to go, I just didn't want to leave the house, I didn't want to go anywhere, um, by the way, today, now this is where it changes. I'm talking about my eyes again. So I did naked and then I did buck in the crease like I pretty much always do. But now I'm going into dark horse. I did this last night for the first time and I really liked it. So I'm just going to do it again. <laughs> um, just to like make it a little more dramatic. But anyway, so yeah, I didn't end up going to that audition on Monday. Um, and then it was Tuesday morning which is the last day of the audition. Sorry, my phone, not my phone, what am I doing? My camera just told me, uh, we can't film anymore because your uh, memory card is full. So I just had to delete some old, old footage. But anyway, on Tuesday morning, I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this audition. Should I do it during my break while the kids are at school? Um, the kids being the kids I nanny. Um, but then I was like, no, I just, I don't wanna worry about like being late to pick them up from school, so I'll go after work. So during my break from um, work while the kids were at school, I went to Walgreens to pick up the headshot that I had ordered on Monday. And I was all rushing, because I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna be late to pick them up, because the Walgreens customer service completely sucked. Like no one was helping me standing at the counter forever and I'm like okay like come on people obviously you know it was around lunchtime so I'm not like actually mad um you know but <laughs> and I wasn't late or anything I just have anxiety related to being late to things by the time it was almost time for me to get off work one of my friends who was at the audition who I believe might be an equity actor I actually don't know but she got there and she was waiting for a really long time and I told her I was going and she was like yeah honestly I wouldn't bother because the non-equity actor ec non-equity actors non-equity actors oh my god who are here and who are getting here now are being turned away because they just won't have time to see them so if you come here you'll just be turned away so don't bother so I was like, all right, good to know. Um, don't chicken out to these things because you're going to lose your opportunity if you decide later that you want to go. So I don't know. I wasn't too upset about it. I, I didn't have my heart set on that audition. Obviously, if I had my heart set on it, I would have gone. But there you go. Like, lesson learned. If you think, even for a little bit, that you're going to go to something. I'm sorry, there's makeup in my eyeball. Then go. Just go to it. Because, like, you're going to miss your opportunity if you don't go. So now I know. Anyway, so I did not end up going to that audition for that reason. Chickened out, and then last minute, wanted to go. And then, uh, missed my opportunity. So, there you go. But I have other things that I'm definitely going to be auditioning for. So, don't you worry, anyone who really wanted me to audition for something. Um, I don't know if any of you out there really care, <laughs> but there you go. All right, so yeah, I just kind of, I don't know, I added some of Dark Horse in my outer corners and it probably looks like a lot of it fell out, down into uh, my under eye area and there you go. So my face looks suddenly very luminous because I just put on the Becca First Light Priming Filter and there you go, that's what it looks like. I don't know, I'm like wondering if it's breaking me out. You know what's probably breaking me out is wearing all this makeup all the time because of the shows. That's probably what's actually breaking me out. Okay, I think, I mean I think I wanna add more to my eyes but not right now. I'm gonna put on my face makeup. I need to go moisten my, my Eco Tools Beauty Blender. I realized I said EcoTools beauty blender thing. That's kind of, it's not a beauty blender. It is an EcoTools beauty sponge that I just threw on the ground. Oh, no, no, no. It's covered in dog hair now. Real life, everyone. This is the real life right here. So here is the next difference with my makeup for a show. And that is 
I'm still trying to use up my Kat Von D lock and foundation. It's not in a project pan or anything. I'm just kind of like unofficially trying to use it up because as you are about to see, I have gotten a bit tanner uh, and this is not my shade anymore. So yeah, <laughs> um, but I put it on anyway because I fixed the whole like it not really matching me issue with bronzer and contour so do I actually fix it I don't know I mean I feel like I fix it it might look really horrible but no one's told me anything so yeah the other issue is that I mean it doesn't look like totally terrible compared to my neck but I feel like in person my neck is a lot tanner so there you go that's what happens when you move to Southern California and work as your nanny or you're outside a lot more than you are usually outside. Speaking of which, on Wednesday this past week, I went to a park with the kids that I nanny and I wore shorts because I have this really awkward capri tan line because I'm constantly wearing these capri workout pant things because they're super comfortable they're from target they haven't sold them in many many years but while they were selling them i bought one pair and i fell in love with it not really fell in love you can't really fall in love with inanimate objects um but i really really liked it that pair so i got a second pair and uh then when i wanted a third pair i you know learned that they weren't selling it anymore which was really really sad because they're just perfect for me. They're perfect. But anyway, so I have this weird tan line from them. And I'm like, I'm going to go to the park with the kids today. It's going to be great. I'm going to wear super short shorts. And it's fine. I won't get burned. Because I'm dumb. Um, and maybe I'll even out that weird tan line. So I was very wrong. We were there for like an hour and a half. The sun was out. It was bright. And... Later that day, I look at my thighs and my everything like is bright red and it hurts so much. The dog hair in my mouth. Yeah, super, super painful. I'm an idiot. Like I definitely made the conscious decision not to wear sunscreen because I'm like, I don't know. I guess I just was stupid. I was stupid. I'm trying to make excuses for myself and it was just really dumb and I want to say I learned my lesson but I've had so many sunburns before where I always say I learned my lesson I learned my lesson um, and I'm not a big like I don't go out tanning I'm not that kind of person so I always think like oh I'll just do it all in one go because I'm dumb I don't like want to gradually tan, but it's the same thing. It's just as bad. I don't know, you guys. Feel free to shame me because I feel ashamed. I feel like a total idiot because I am one in that regard. But for right now, I will say I learned my lesson. But I don't know. Did I really learn my lesson? Or is it just temporary? It's like the first time that uh, Gage and I went to Hawaii together, which was the trip where we got engaged. <laughs> I laugh because his name is Gage, for those of you who don't know. And so when we got engaged, I was very excited to make the pun that I'm engaged because of Gage. Anyway, um, our first day in Hawaii, we both were very, very stupid and irresponsible and got super sunburned because we were just like, hey, we're not gonna get burned, but let's use this opportunity to get tan because we're both super pale um, And it yeah, it didn't work out. It did not work out because We just got really really burned and so it's not like we were completely miserable for our entire trip But there is definitely a level of discomfort that we were dealing with that We didn't have to if we had just been responsible so yeah Anyway, so yeah, so you saw I just put some tart shape tape under my eyes to brighten them up a little bit. Um, and I just took the stopper out yesterday, or I attempted to take the stopper out yesterday, but I 
I've done it before, once before, and with, you know, I was very successful, but this time I was struggling, and now, like, part of the stopper is actually at the bottom of this container, so I don't know how that's going to affect my ability to get as much product out as I possibly can, but as of right now, I am able to get more out than I was before, which was the original plan, so there you go. In a way, I feel like I'm doing this in a really strange order, um, but right now I'm gonna do what I did before uh, and just do my eyebrows. I'm kind of I'm not gonna talk for this part because I feel like I've been talking a lot, and uh, I don't want this video to be super long. So I'm gonna shut up now. I always feel like this eyebrow comes at like a sharper point at the arch than this one. I feel like I did them weird today. Uh, I don't know. But uh, as I mentioned in my last Get Ready With Me, I just have been putting Buck from the Naked Palette in my eyebrows to try to expedite the process of using up Buck. So, uh, next I set my face with uh, this guy. The RCMA No Color Powder and Get Powder Everywhere all over my pants and my shirt and everything. But that's how it goes. It is loose powder, as you guys have probably experienced yourselves. I don't know if I'm wrong for doing this, like literally setting my entire face. The Kat Von D foundation, you don't really have to set. It has a matte finish, but I like to set my entire face before I do any like of my powder, other powder products, because I just feel like it helps to blend the um, contour more smoothly, easily. I don't know. Um, yeah, still using Kat Von D. Have been using it for mm, mm, long ass time. Uh, I got that palette in 2016, I believe. It was like August of August 2016, and it's actually the last palette I have purchased. I have not purchased any sort of palette since August of 2016. Can you believe that? I can. I don't know, I like, that that summer in July for my birthday, I got the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette from my husband, um, and that is the last time, that's the last eyeshadow palette I ever got. That was my new, that's my newest eyeshadow palette. And you would not believe just all of the eyeshadow palettes that have come out that I have wanted, but because I am a minimalist, um, I question it. I'm like, do I really need this? How long can I go without it? And every time I think about buying one of those palettes that I really want, I just think like, can I go longer? Can I go longer? How often am I wearing eyeshadow? Like, am I actually gonna get my money's worth from the palette? And that is what has been able to that's what has helped me like not just mindlessly buy makeup because now I'm like thinking what am I gonna be panning you know like how long does it take to pan an eyeshadow it takes a really long time you know and then thinking like have I the fact that I hadn't been wearing a lot of eyeshadow at that point or like in all of 2017 I feel like I just wasn't wearing as much eyeshadow I wasn't doing as like big dramatic eyeshadow looks that I used to do. I don't know, that's what's really stopped me. Um, and now I'm just thinking like, well, I don't really wanna get any eyeshadow that I have even something similar at all to it. So like literally if an eyeshadow palette has a brown that is a boring brown color, I'm like, I have like two other palettes that have that same brown shade. So I don't know, but anyway. Still contouring with this it's almost gone oh my goodness but when I do my show makeup I definitely I go heavier for sure because the lights on stage are very bright and when I look at the photos of the you know the performances and the photos that they took of like dress rehearsal I feel like it looks really good because you can actually see my features cuz I defined them with the makeup. And I still just kind of use like any sort of leftover product to roughly, roughly contour my nose. I used to do like more of an intense 
nose contour, but I just haven't really been into that lately because maybe because I'm lazy, I just want to use the same brush. <sighs> then I dip into the warmer toned shade for my forehead because I feel like it looks more like like a sun created bronze rather than like trying to create a shadow. I am not a makeup artist. Everything I learned, everything I know, I learned from watching a few different people here on YouTube. So if I'm wrong, it's their fault. <laughs> they gave me misinformation, but I don't know. I like the effect that it gives and I definitely drag it down to the top of my cheekbones to try and blend the two colors together. And this is where I try to correct the fact that the foundation is way too pale for me now. Um, did it work? I don't know. It doesn't look as like dramatically pale. Or maybe it looks worse because of the camera. Who knows? I finally set up one of my box lights, by the way, because I've got, I'm having issues with the lighting. I feel like I've talked about this recently. I and mean, yeah, I'm just having issues with how I'm setting up my lighting in this new space. I don't know. I don't know, people. Um, what's next? Blush. Still using my Milani baked blush in Luminoso. I've gone back and forth on whether or not I should do a highlight for the show. Um, my first instinct was no, because I I get kind of glowy by the end of the day anyway, or by the end of the show. Um, and also Luminoso, as it kind of says in the name, Luminoso, um, is pretty luminous. It does give you kind of a, a more subtle sheen, or maybe it's not subtle, I don't know. You can <laughs> you see that on this side more than the other because this is where the box light is. Um, so, I don't know. And then, you know, I've, I've tried to do highlight before, but I've been really displeased with my skin as of late. I feel like my texture is really not great. And uh, I don't know, I don't know what, I'm, what is up with my skin lately, but having highlight on my face has made me notice my skin texture more. And I'm just not about that life, so I'm not gonna do any highlight on top of this. But now I feel like I kind of want to go back into my eyes and maybe I should zoom you guys in or sit closer. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so here's, you see, it looks kind of like a mess right now. So I'm going to kind of try and fix that. I'm going to do what I did yesterday. Yesterday I took this tiny little brush right here and I dipped it in to Virgin and used some Fix Plus with it and kind of did like a, a thing on the lid and just kind of put it on the lid to kind of, I don't know, make that pop a little bit more, give it some contrast. Just check the time here, cool. I have to pick up um, one of my fellow actors from his home. I have to leave for that in 45 minutes, so, uh, but I've got time, I've got time. So I haven't done any Fix Plus yet. I'm just gonna kind of set a little bit down on the lid before I intensify it. I don't know what I'm doing. Do I seem like I know what I'm doing? I have no clue. <laughs> this seems kind of inefficient with this tiny little brush, huh? Cause I, I had gotten this brush originally cause I was putting it on, on my inner corner yesterday like that. Um, and then I just started dragging it onto the lid yesterday. So, but today I, just started with the lid and now I'm doing the inner corner. <laughs> I'm laughing because I see a few chunks of product in there and I almost like blew like on the mirror that I'm holding to try and make it go away. And that's not how life works, Heather. That was weird. Okay. My eyeballs are angry, I think, <laughs> from all this makeup. Oh, see, do you see that chunk? <laughs> yeah, this shadow is pretty old. This shadow is like not having it today. Um, but now I'm gonna add some Fix Plus. Let's do that now, shall we? I've got barely any left. I am ruining this shadow in the pan. It is so gross in there now. So yeah, there we go. That did something. Does that look terrible? Whatever. The audience can't see all the little details. Um, but then another thing that I did yesterday 
was I took some random little angled brush that doesn't have a name and I dipped it first into Buck, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did because you know I'm trying to hit pan on Buck. So then I just kind of like pressed it on my lower lash line um, to kind of, I don't know, make it more dramatic, I guess. And I feel like it's definitely important that I set my under eyes before doing this because then I think it would have come off really patchy and unblendable. But yeah, so doing this with Buck on the under eye, very dramatic, like so. I mean, man, do I dig into Buck. I might have brought that a little further down than I should have. Mm -hmm. Did that do anything? <laughs> And then I took this super like skinny flat definer brush and dipped that into Dark Horse and went really close to the lash line and like stamped it in there. This is where I feel like I really need to concentrate because if there's too much product on the little tip of this, it falls down onto my face and it makes me sad. But if I tap off too much of the product, it doesn't do anything. Still no pan on Buck. Oh my goodness. Okay, uh, then this is another thing that I did last night that I ended up really liking. And that was using my ColourPop liner in Swerve. It's basically the black liner. And I tie lined with it. My eyes get really watery and do not like this. One bit. Oh, I'm getting so watery. You can see that. Ah. Next, liquid liner. And this little baby is drying out. So I don't think I'm going to try and do a big wing today. Also, with my super watery eyes, I don't think I would, I would enjoy that process very well. So I think I'm just going to keep it pretty close to the lash line today. I'm not in love with it, but I'm going to stop before I make it worse. Next, mascara. Same as last time. All right, so that is the finished eye look. So that maybe we'll do a little bit of brow gel. It's not technically the eyes, it's the brows, but I forgot to do that. So just to set them down, I feel like my Anastasia brow gel is almost gone. I'm just getting the feeling. It's almost gone. But anyway, yeah, there we go. Now it's the finished. I look, no, I don't want to zoom you in. I was trying to zoom you out. Yeah, so that's, I mean, that's pretty much what I do. Do I do false eyelashes? No. Have I done false eyelashes for a show before? Yes, um, but not in a long time. Um, and am I going to do it today? No, because I haven't done it at all in a, a, yeah, like I said, not in a really long time, and I don't want to mess up. And I feel like my um, Better Than Sex mascara does the job enough. And I don't know, yeah, my eyes look really dark and dramatic to me right now. But sometimes I do my makeup and I feel like they look really dramatic. And then, uh, and then I watch the video back or like I look at pictures and I'm like, there's barely anything on my face. But yeah, so in terms of lips, um, what I normally do is wear my Kat Von D liquid lipstick in Ophelia for the show. But I like to put something on before I get there. Um, and it changes, like sometimes I just do my Buxom lip gloss in white Russian, but yesterday I did my ColourPop lippy stick in Aquarius, and I actually just ended up wearing it for the whole show. Like the cream finish definitely wore off, um, pretty soon, but the pigment stayed and it looked good for the whole show. Uh, so I'm just going to do that again. Why not? So I have a feeling that I might have ruined this lipstick because it's really soft and for a little while it was in my um my purse and when i have my purse with me when i pick the kids up from school i leave the purse in my ca the car and it was hot and i think it might have melted and then kind of reformed uh so it's yeah it's really really soft i don't know and then it's miraculously not on my teeth right now but because it's so soft and creamy i feel like it does get on my teeth so i did this yesterday i like did the trick to get it off in the inner part of my lip so that it wouldn't get on my lips and i did it like a million times so let's do it okay there it is i wipe it on my black pants <laughs> yeah 
there's more. There was more. I feel like lipstick on the teeth. I mean, as I've gotten older, I don't really care if someone points it out, but I remember always feeling really self-conscious when people used to point it out. And I don't know, it's, it's like, it's embarrassing. I don't know. It's probably why people love liquid lipstick so much because it doesn't really get on your teeth. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Cool. So there you go. That is the finished look. That is what I do for my show. So basically the differences are going a little bit heavier on everything and then adding some darker stuff to the eyes to make my eyes pop. And then for the first two scenes I'm in and the last scene, I have my hair down like this. This is day three hair, so it's not looking super great right now. Also, the sun on this side has gone down quite a lot, so I'm like lit from the side. Again, I need to figure out my lighting. Um, so I'm gonna stop talking because this is probably gonna be really long and I hope it wasn't boring, um, but there you go. If you enjoyed it, I would really like a thumbs up. Um, let's cover up my ears. Jeez, I feel like Monica with like my ears sticking out. Anyway, um, yeah, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It'll kind of let me know that you what, like watching me get ready for stuff, which is interesting. I never thought that I would really do much of these videos, but it's really fun. Oh, my knee itches because my sunburn's probably going to start peeling in a couple of days. <laughs> and I got to stop. Uh, yeah, comment down below um, if you enjoyed it like that person did who I already mentioned them at the beginning of the video um, And that that's why I just did this video is because they said hey do something like this So if you have any ideas of stuff that you want me to do the comment section is the place to tell me because I read all my comments and sometimes I put off responding to them for a while, but I usually get to it <laughs> uh, See, just self-conscious that there was lipstick on my teeth. But yeah, subscribe to my channel if you want to, if you feel like I'm an interesting person to listen to and watch. But other than that, um, wish me broken legs, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.